Welcome, everyone. This time we're talking about Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World. Yeah. This, honestly, probably the one anime this season that I'm really looking forward to, because I read the manga, and it was so good. Well, I haven't read the manga because it's still technically coming out, but I am up to chapter 55 of the manga. Uh, it's currently up to chapters 60, but I've only read to 55, unfortunately, because it takes months and months and months to actually get manga out and then to translate it and stuff, unfortunately. But yeah. Anyway, what is this about? It is about a kid. This guy on the right here, or the left here, sorry, who uh, is a high school kid who goes on the internet to find a game. He finds this website with like a variety of different games and stuff like that. And he's allowed to create a character. And when he clicks the last button, there's like a pop up that says like yes or no. And he just hits yes and goes in. Um, the pop up says this is like the only, this is your last chance. If you click yes here, you will not be able to return to the real world, yada, yada. And he clicks it anyway and goes into this, uh, this game-like fantasy world, right? So he has like all these skills and different things and yada, yada. He put a bunch of points into this like overpowered sword that he's got, like most of his points, to be honest. I think he had like 100 to begin with and he put like 63 of them into the sword, which, like, absorbs mana and health from killing enemies and stuff like that. Really overpowered. Anyway, he wakes up in this, like, farming village, and he has no, like, shoes for some reason. And so he finds these sandals in this stable that he woke up in, puts them on, and gets a new job class called Thief, because he stole the sandals, right? Funny stuff. So after that, he hears a commotion in the village, and sees this being attacked by bandits. He assesses their levels and sees that, oh, the, uh, the people of this village are going to get murdered because of the uh, higher levels that the enemies are. So he's like, okay, this is a game. That's fine. I'm going to go out and uh, murder these people, or the bandits. So he goes out and kills the bandits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Basically getting some levels, getting some loot for helping the villagers, all that kind of stuff. And then this one village guy tries to steal something from the horde of things that were covered from the bandits. And as such, that man becomes a slave who our main character, uh, Michio, gets to sell in the major town nearby. Uh, half of the proceeds go to him, half of it goes to the family, right? Because that's just the village's uh, policy. If, you, if you're a thief or you commit a crime, you're sold off as a slave. That's how it goes. And so I'm telling you all this because this is how it begins, right? That was like only part of episode one. That's like maybe a fourth of episode one right there. Once he gets to the town and sells the slave, he gets money. And then the slave trader suggests that he gets this other slave that he purchases this slave this uh, Roxanne girl right here uh, the dog-eared lady and he's of course interested because she's very cute and has huge tiddlies right and uh, well he's a little bit short on money but that's fine the guy will give him a couple of days to get some money and to purchase her and so he goes out and goes to this labyrinth that's in the city in order to do so. And that's basically the, the, the premise of the beginning. Now, it is called Harem, Labyrinth in Another World. And from what I've read in the 55 chapters of manga, so far he gets two girls, okay? However, in episode two, for whatever reason, he is shown at the beginning of the episode in like, I don't know, like five years in the future, from when he came to this world and he has already a huge harem there's like a cat girl uh, a really tall red-haired lady um like a, an elf i think a normal looking human and then there's the dog-eared girl roxanne and then the dwarf which i've seen before um 
And that, that's the only ones that I know of is Roxanne and the dwarf Siri. I think her name is Siri. Something like that. But anyway, <clears throat> it, it's weird that they included that and kind of like show all the harem members right there. Because I don't think they're going to get to it in the manga. It just doesn't seem possible. You know? But I'm looking at my anime list right here. And it shows two other main characters. One of them has a picture, and it's uh, one of the, the cat-eared girl. And the other one doesn't have a picture, but it describes them as a dragonkin and says she has red hair. So I'm wondering if that's the red-haired lady that they showed. I don't know. But that means they're going to speed through this anime. And it's going to be very unfortunate. Like, very unfortunate. Because I really wanted to see, like, it just be beautiful, right? Uh, it's a shame if they're going to just speed through it. But anyway, so he's like, yeah, I'm going to buy this girl, Roxanne. Because not only will she be able to help him out of the labyrinth and make a living, and she knows the common sense of this world, she can help him with that. But she's also approved. She uh, allowed herself to be a sex slave. Hmm. Yes. So not only can he get her to help him in the labyrinth, but he can also bone down with her. Oh my, yes. And if the first episode is any indication where they pass by a brothel street and his imagination runs wild of all these like close-ups of girls in lingerie with them like caressing their breasts and butts in this like goddamn like there's an uncensored version and a censored version and i am of course a man of culture and thus i'm watching the uncensored version and i've already seen bare breasts in the uncensored version when he uh, imagines roxanne or is it roxanne maybe he just imagines one of the brothel girls. I don't know. Anyway, it's very lewd. Very, very lewd. And if you're into that, then here you go. The manga itself has quite a number of scenes where Roxanne and the main character bone down. And uh, yeah, basically any opportunity they have while they're at home, they bone down. It's like nightly. So, uh, yeah. But very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> As a perv, I, for one, embrace it. It is beautiful. Mm. So good. It's like Redo of Healer, but without the whole revenge and rapiness and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, Michiro, or Michi, Michio Kaga isn't a complete psychopath like the main character from Redo of Healer. He uh, is just a normal guy who likes titties. What can I say? Man after my own heart. Nah. But it's got some good action in it. I, I enjoyed the manga thoroughly, even if it did not have like the nudity and stuff in it. It was still cute when it came to like their relationship. It was still like action-packed when it came to the action stuff and it was just fucking beautiful right i thoroughly enjoyed it well enjoyed it i enjoy it because it's still an ongoing series of the manga and whatnot but i am so excited to see how it plays out and i i really really hope that they don't rush through it because after the after he gets roxanne in the manga they have like a number of days where they like are training roxanne and delving in the dungeon and doing stuff. And then after he gets a specific item, then he needs to get another girl or another slave to begin with in order to do stuff. And that's why he does get the second harem member. But I don't know. It seems like they're just going to be like, okay, uh, he gets Roxanne, and then they're going to go into the lab and find the item. Then they're going to get the next girl. And then they're going to do the next thing that triggers the next girl getting, and then the next thing. Because, like I said, there's four main girls on the anime uh, listed here. So, 
It seems like they're going to rush through it, and I do not want that. I want to see more of just him and Roxanne, like, delving in the dungeon before they get the other girls and all that kind of stuff, you know? Also, I don't know. Maybe they're just going to have, like, a bunch of sex scenes in it where they're all boned out. Because let me tell y'all, if you read the manga, there are a lot, and it's very graphic. And they do it in the bed. They do it in the bath. It's like, goddamn. God damn. Anyway. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, is all I really want to say. And uh, I like the character designs. Uh, I would really like to get a figure of Roxanne. That's really cool. She's a really cool character. And she's a very nice lady. And, uh... Yeah, that's all. All right. Well, now that we are done with this one, I gotta say this is probably night number one. And let me know what y'all think. If you're gonna watch the uncensored or censored version, you know. But, uh... Yeah. Mm, I cannot wait for the rest of the ten episodes. It's gonna be great. I cannot wait. That's all for me, everyone. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye for now.